The probe nears the planet, setting up a landing route. Using spectrographic imaging, the entire planet is scanned. A reasonably small planet at only 10,000 kilometers across. It also has one Selenic moon. Some of the surface features become visible as the probe prepares the landing. During the planet scan, quite a bit of oxygen was detected, which means there's life on this planet. Passing over some sandy dunes, the probe reaches a mountain range and slows down to take in some views. The planet appears to have some green plant life, causing the high levels of oxygen. Further south, the probe descends from a mountain. So far, no moving organisms have been detected on this planet. Roughly 70% of the planet is covered in these lush, plant-like regions. However, only about 10% of the planet is covered in water, scattered around in a few medium-sized lakes. Although the average surface temperature of this planet hovers around 70 Fahrenheit, the Arctic North Pole is a different story. It stays around negative 90 Fahrenheit and is a permanently frozen wasteland. The sky darkens as we move to the nighttime side of the planet. The young orange star gives the sky an eerie red glow. The observation camera adjusts, and a sky full of stars is revealed. The probe leaves its first life-filled planet after gathering enough data.
the probe will do a full recharge before traveling in between galaxies once again. This is also a stress test of the adaptive heat shielding that the probe features. The probe will pass within a mere thousand kilometers of the star's surface. The temperature readings outside of the probe near 7,900 Fahrenheit. Now that the probe is fully recharged, it prepares for its journey ahead.